Joining us today for a discussion around industrial cybersecurity is Paul Rogers, President and CEO of WorldTech. Welcome, Paul. Thanks, Sid. Glad to be here. Uh, to kick off this discussion, could you just tell us a little bit about WorldTech? Uh, you bet, Sid. We're a world-class provider of cybersecurity solutions in the operational technology space, or the OT space. We were founded in 2006. We're headquartered out of Vancouver, Canada, and we became part of the GE family in 2014. We've got a rich portfolio of cybersecurity services and products, and we work extensively in the oil and gas, uh, the utility space, and even the hospital space. Since you mentioned that you were acquired by GE, how's that integration going? I believe it's been about two years? It has. It's gone extremely smooth. You know, GE is going after the industrial internet in a big way, and part of our acquisition was to be part of that portfolio. When you connect 50 billion devices, you certainly need a cybersecurity answer to that. And so in 2015, we spent a great deal of time uh, integrating our products with GE products. And so now we are standard equipment on GE gas turbines, wind turbines, aero derivatives, uh, and even hospital MRIs and CTs. We're working towards being part of our transportation or locomotives portfolio. So we spent a great deal of time in 2015 integrating our expertise into the GE portfolio. And in 2016, you'll see us more out into the marketplace because our solutions work for GE products and non-GE products. That was gonna be my follow-up question since you mentioned 215. I was wondering, <laughs> what's your strategy for future growth? And you know, how, how, how do you see things changing within 216? You bet, you know, the, the market, yeah, 2016, the market is emerging. And so there's a tremendous amount of education that needs to occur. So we see a big push in our services portfolio, educating corporations on what they need to do for cybersecurity. What's nice is, is in more times than not, one of the first steps that corporations typically need to do is something like our OpShield product line. And so it's very complementary, a services approach to, to help them with their holistic cyber strategy. And then we've got hardware products that help them achieve them. Since you mentioned OpShield, I know you've just released that. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about that product? Yeah, it's a fantastic product. It's a, it's a physical device that sits right in front of your control system. And it is the result of years and years of service engagements. And so these service engagements with our cybersecurity experts, they learn from those engagements and we're able to create a form factor, a fit for purpose product that is very specific to the ICS uh, and the PLC, so the industrial control system. And it's so fit for purpose, it literally sits in front, and we think it's a step forward in protection. Are there other features that distinguish it from other things in the market? You know, I cover that space, and there's a lot of different products in that space. You bet. You know, one of the key differentiators is the protocols, uh, as you know, uh, as well as I do, that there is the IT space, uh, which has its own challenges in the protection of data, in our space, the OT space, it's about protecting the asset. And these industrial uh, control systems have radically different protocols. They have proprietary protocols, and they have specialized needs, and this device takes those into account. You know, I'm just curious, what regions and verticals are you seeing the most interest and most market opportunities for this? Great question. The, the big ones are the utility space and oil and gas. Uh, oil and gas is reaching, uh, I think, a really good level of maturity. The utility space is emerging. Their uh, hacking or, or their attacks are, are going up dramatically. But then again, you know, when we think in terms of emerging space, we're also getting a lot of interest from the, the medical side uh, of the house, as well as things like locomotives and, and transportation. When we think in terms of regions, we're making a big bet in the Middle East and Asia. Uh, we've opened up an office in Singapore. Oh. Um, you know, one thing we see is, you know, the OT security, even though it's, it's, it's lagging certainly compared yeah. to the IT cybersecurity, what do you think it's going to take for people to really open up their wallets and start really spending on that? It's a great question. And I'd say the OT space is about 15 years uh, behind the IT space. And with attacks going up, 
you know, roughly 90% in some of the industries we serve, I'm finding that it's a lot of education. Uh, in some of these environments, uh, I haven't met uh, a corporate executive that didn't know they had a cybersecurity problem and didn't know that they needed to do something, but they weren't sure what to do. You know, regulations are, are hard to achieve when they're uh, relatively vague to the non-cyber professional. And so we're making a big push in our services organizations to, to make sure that we're doing that education so that they can open the, their wallets and know that they're having an impact. Well, thank you, Paul, for a very interesting and informative discussion. I appreciate the opportunity, Sid. We've been speaking with Paul Rogers, CEO of WorldTech. Uh, thank you for watching.